starts over Blythe Spartans in goal. Number one, Alex Mitchell. Number two, Reese Evans. Number five, Nathan Buddle. Number nine, Dan Maguire. Number 10, JJ O'Donnell. Number 11, Robbie Dale. Number 15, Corey McEwen. Number 17, Nicky Devedix. Number 18, Toby Lees. Number 25, Patrick Almond. And number 28 is Angelo Capello. Substitutes for Blythe Spartans. Number 6, Jordan Watson. Number 8, Jordan Hickey. Number 12, Carl Byrne. Number 14, Lewis McNall. And number 23 is Danny Barlow. Balls flicked forward. And now Nathan Buddle lofts it back. Bradford able to... Flick it on again on the right hand side. Comes on the on the right then with Sam Field and Sam Field and pins it across. Goes a chance of Bradford. It's a shot. It's a great save, but it's a shot again. It's gone in. Bradford have scored Blythe defensively there all over the place, Phil. Yes, we lost the ball a bit fortuitously right in front of our dugout, actually. So Nutmeg's a uh, couple of Blythe players purely by accident, but then f found the pl first player who should actually score himself. Yes. Mitchell did very well to keep it out, but they just fell to it and didn't see who it was, just about the penalty Harrison spot. He, Hopper. Just, he just stroked it past Mitchell. Mitchell didn't have time to recover. Angelo Capello plays a bat at Almond. Almond tries to play the ball. Still with J.J. O'Donnell. Gets dispossessed. Buddle needs to win the challenge. He can't. Bradford are through. One and one here. Chance for Bradford. He turns in the penalty area. Oh, he's been dragged wide. Well done from Toby Lees. But it's come back inside the penalty area for Bradford. Turn the left foot. He's looking for options. He's still in the penalty area here. He's just dribbling with the ball. He's played it across goal. And there's a shot. And there's a 2 now. And that is, that is just... I cannot believe that's a goal. That was too easy, Phil. It was way, way too easy. That was weird. I mean, uh, yes, we lost the ball in midfield. Lee did well just to little nudge on the player to send them wide, but still managed to get the cross in. And really, the cross across, what is about five yards away from the goal line. And there was no blood defender there to protect Mitchell. Robbie Dale heads the ball on, looking for Dan McGuire. He can't find him. Comes back through, and Bradford will smash it forward, looking for Nathan Buddle. Nathan Buddle tries to win the header. He can't. And it comes through, and there's a shot. That is an amazing goal. It's 3-0 out of nothing. Lewis Knight has just hit a volley. The ball's bounced over but Knight has just smashed it. It's looped over the goalkeeper. Bly Spartans find themselves 3-0 down here at Croft Park at half, uh, just before half time. Phil, great finish. Superb finish. I mean, volley and uh, Mitchell stood no chance. Perfectly weighted over the top of his head. So it's it's difficult to kind of say what, what he could bring, but it is half time here. And here from the fans. They're not happy because Bryce Sports find themselves 3-0 down here against Bradford Park Avenue. Mm. Blythe have made a change here, or they were about to make a change at half-time. Dan Maguire is coming off and Jordan Hickey is coming on. So, Phil, what, what do we make of that? What, what do we think? Do you think it's going to be three in midfield, in, in midfield three? With well, I mean, Robbie Dale's about to take the kick-off. Is Robbie Dale playing as striker? Because we don't have another recognised striker on the field. We've got to change the front positions, that's for sure, because we're 3-0 down. We're going to do something if Dan Maguire's gone off. Someone else is going to have to push forward. Yeah. So, it is off for the second half. Three sevens looking for O'Donnelly. Can't find him, but he finds Hickey, who plays it inside. It's a good ball. Uh, finds Lewis McNall on the edge of the penalty area. McNall turns. McNall plays it wide. But by Spartans and J.J. O'Donnell. Can they get something going here? O'Donnell hits it. And it's high over the bar. A bit of desperation, that Phil. Yeah, it was. He had to have a strike and it was on his left foot about 18 yards out. He just got under it. Yeah, just running back towards the home dugout. Robbie Dills lofted the ball in the penalty area. It's flicked on, comes to Jordan Hickey on the edge. He turns and hits it. Left foot, it's a good hit from Jordan Hickey into the hands of the goalkeeper. But we've had an effort on target. Yeah, and the crowd acknowledged that he probably here slightly ironically, but it was a good shot by Hickey. It was on target. Bounced just in front of the keeper, but he collected it fairly easily then. But uh, that's all more intent. Had a bit of fizz about it, didn't it? Hmm. So, yeah, we've had a registered our first shot on target. Um, but still 3 0 down. Now, Bradford coming forward, skipping past the man, comes, drops it back. There's a shot. He's missed an open goal, the Bradford man. It's been played across past Alex Mitchell. It's just waiting for a tap in. Ollie Johnson's there, and um, Harrison Hopper was there, and the ball's been sent wide. Jordan Hickey, who plays it inside for Robbie Dale. Robbie Dale plays it back for Angelo Capello. Capello turns on this left hand side. He crosses the ball over, and it's a. Uh, Come straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Bit of a teasing cross, wasn't it? It was, yes. Because uh, we had uh, this loose McNaught or Corey uh, closing in on it. Bias Spartans will be sporting the National Lottery Football Weekends campaign 
all adult season ticket holders or those who have purchased tickets in advance will be able to bring one friend or family member free of charge provided they show a national lottery ticket or scratch card upon entering the ground the offer will not be available to those who purchase tickets on the gate on the day only to those who purchase tickets in advance and that online or over the phone more details about this offer will be put up on the club website and social media in the coming days here's one inside for McEwen McEwen takes a touch turns McEwen still oh, going that's brilliant. really clever from Corey McEwen he's going to send the ball wide. there's a chance up live there's a shot it's a goal and it's a very good goal Lewis now gets on the end of it that's a great finish that's a great finish Corey McEwen absolutely brilliant driving forward he sends the ball wide Lewis now smashes it in left footed um, excellent move excellent goal in and now on the edge of the box up live coming forward chance getting in Danny Barrow trying to get there Robbie Deal smashes it and it's wide of the target Ooh, two yards up. you can see what Robbie's trying to do there I think he's trying to wrap the outside of his right foot around so it curled in but just went dead straight need to get it in now and it needs to end up in the back of the net it's come over and it's straight through the goalkeeper's under a bit of pressure there Bradford are able to clear the ball forward and now they have a man through and he skipped past Alex Mitchell it's an open goal for Bradford it's Knight an open goal he's got he's got Almond there Almond's defended brilliantly yeah Al Mitchell Allen going back in the goal yeah wild and goes all the way back to Almond who flicks it forward Robbie Dale trying to get there it's ahead of Robbie Dale and there's the full time whistle here at Croft Park uh, Vic P says thanks for trying to make it an interesting game well thanks mate that was always going to be a bit difficult tonight it has ended by Spartans 1 Bradford Park Avenue 3 in a night we just need to forget we need to move on from it straight away it's not been a good night it's not been a good Bradford performance Bradford have been very very professional in what they've done they took the lead um, so, sort of early-ish in the game yeah 15 uh, minutes or so 15 minutes Harrison Hopper after a bright start from Bly Harrison Hopper scored a goal which Bly really should have defended they had two bites at the cherry and and we're able to put it in in the end. They then got two goals, uh, both scored from, uh, who was it? Lewis, Lewis Knight. Lewis Knight, yeah, the number seven. The first one, it was, uh, yeah, Blythe should have defended it better and it came across and Knight was in it, just tapped it in. And the second one was a, a screamer. The ball's bounced, but as Phil says, it could have been defended better, but the ball's bounced and he smashed it over. Blythe Spartans did pull one back late in injury time in the second half, or just before injury time. Where a lovely run from Corey McEwen laid it off to Lewis McNall and found the back of the net. But it does end here at Quad Park. Bly Spartans 1, um, Bradford Park Avenue 3.